This is Twit. We're going to talk again about the report from Simpty that was released uh, two or three weeks ago now. Three weeks, probably. Um, <clears throat> on the state of cinema audio and um, how, how it's been done up till now, what the results of a bunch of measurements were. And really, more importantly, in this episode, we're going to recap a little bit of that. But what I really want to focus on here uh, in a little bit is where are we going in the future? How are we going to fix the problems that were identified? Uh, what about immersive audio? There's a ton of stuff to talk about here. So, uh, Brian, why don't you give us a really quick recap of what the report showed, what, what, what it was about, why, why did you do it? Why did you undertake this uh, pretty large task to to measure a bunch of theaters and do all the stuff that is in this 200-plus page report. Give us a little synopsis. All right. So, um, you know, a group of us uh, noticed, uh, and Brian McCarty was one of those who was on last week, um, definitely that, you know, sound was quite inconsistent between theaters. We hadn't really touched the standards for quite a while in theater. The standards were kind of written in the 70s. And... You know, we were noticing that, you know, if you mix a movie in a dubbing theater and go play it in your local cinema, uh, they quite often don't sound very much alike. In fact, if you were to play it in three cinemas, they might not sound that much alike. So we thought, well, it's time to revisit the standards. And so we undertook a study, which we called the B-Chain Study Group in Simpty, uh, to study the situation. And then... Um, after we we did a lot of prep and, and a lot of talking and a lot of deciding what we wanted to test, and then we went out to theaters and started testing it. And so for about a six-month period, uh, we visited four uh, exhibition theaters and two dubbing theaters. And the idea was to try to find out, A, where they're at today, and B, to test different sorts of measurement techniques and all that kind of stuff that we've been talking about. So the report goes through a lot of those things. If you read through the beginning of the report, it sets it all up and postulates and shows what the study group was looking to do and why we undertook various tests. Um, and then we did those tests. And uh, after we did that, we realized we had a ton of data and that there wasn't, it was going to take a long time to crunch all that data into something meaningful. But we wanted to give Simpty uh, some information about what we had done. So we put together what we called a consensus report, which was only given to the Simpty management that was never published, uh, which basically showed our observations, uh, talked about the work we thought needed to be done, you know, which is some of the recommendations you see in the report that's published. Simpty looked at it and said, yep, we agree. Um, so you've got work to do. So here, let's turn this study group into a technology committee. And technology committees in Simpty are the ones that actually write standards. So um, we went from being a study group into being a technology group, and I was uh, continued on with the chairmanship and uh, got uh, Kurt Graffy from Arup Acoustics to come along and be my co-chair, which has been fantastic. So um, while we have many things that this group is doing, which I'll talk about in a second, but one of the tasks that we wanted to do was finish the um, report. Uh, part of it, actually taking this data and analyzing it, make some sense out of it, draw some conclusions, um, and decide where we were going from here. So that was kind of the genesis of the report. And it took us, um, you know, probably almost two years to do that. As you can see, it's a huge report. But I think what we finally have, have shown here is where, what the state of things are today. And we didn't do this in order to like criticize where everything was today. We wanted to get a baseline of where things were today so that we could decide where to go from here. And I think that we have a good baseline with this report. 